Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is just going to be a quick video for tonight because I've just got some more things in the works that are going to take far too long than I have time for right now. But we're going to talk about Windows. Well, there's going to be a Linux subject in here as well because we're going to talk about SSH. Now traditionally, if you wanted to do SSH in Windows, you had to use PuTTY and WinSCP. PuTTY to issue the command, WinSCP for file downloads. Well, happily, one of these two functionalities is now built in natively as of autumn 2018, specifically issuing the commands to a Linux server while connecting via SSH. So if we go to PowerShell, you can now literally type in SSH. Don't have to do anything else now. So SSH and server to connect to, well, <laughs> well, my username's gonna be different. I'm not spy on any of my Linux systems. So, so I can do SSH, a username, quids, at a server IP address or a fully qualified domain name. And there you go, one working SSH connection. Of course, there was always one other option, the Windows subsystem for Linux. And I gather this is uh, getting a bit better as well. So let's just do a little connection here. Yes, the Linux kernel is going to be built into Windows. Maybe there's hope that they'll replace the Windows NT kernel with the Linux kernel. Although maybe not, we don't want to increase the attack surface to Linux too much, do we now? Anyway, you can issue commands as you normally would to the Linux servers. Or maybe not quite as normal because I can't press tab to autocomplete. But anyway, this will make maintaining all these Linux servers and Raspberry Pis a lot easier. Although PuTTY is still more feature rich with the ability to do X forwarding and saving sessions. Microsoft are suddenly showing some interest in the terminal. I saw this mock up a couple of days ago. Yeah, some very glossy animations there on what, why, why would just the application spin around like that? But no, what I do notice is tabbed browsing, or tabbed command prompts, I should say. Hey, we're going to see the same for Windows Explorer as well. That would be amazing. There's a different font there, I notice. Slightly better to read for terminal, isn't it? Oh, we're getting there. Uh, oh, emojis. That was a the thing they were showing off as well. Different styling. Very nice. And there's the evolution of them. Yeah, well, I have to say it would look a lot better than that. But there are a couple of things I should mention before I go. Let's open, another, open up another PowerShell session because we don't have that tab browsing yet. We do also have some of the other features of SSH. So we've got the key gen, the agent to store private keys used by public key authentication, SSH add for private keys, SSH key scan for collecting public SSH keys, SFTP and SCP for file transfers. And that is it. That was just to show that SSH now works natively in Windows 10. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.